I'm here in uh, Anoye IDP camp. Uh, this is a camp uh, that was set up five years ago, uh, following the violence in 2012. This camp Anoye is in uh, Pokhtaw, uh, on an island not far from uh, the capital of Rakhine State, Sitwe. The conditions here are really terrible, to be honest. They're not good at the best of times, but in the past three weeks, we haven't been able to continue our ongoing humanitarian activities as normal. Violence broke out three weeks ago in northern Rakhine State, and there's a real humanitarian tragedy happening there. But that's having a real impact on people here in, in these desperate conditions as well. Food distributions are very, very late because of the current situation. The August food distributions, which people rely on, uh, have not taken place. We're now September 14th, and uh, these food distributions are very, very late indeed. People are doing this gesture to me, showing that they're hungry, showing that they don't have enough food. We also, on our trip here, on, to take the boat when we came here, uh, brought some medical supplies with us. And that's because the medical charity that uh, usually uh, provides health services in this camp uh, haven't been able to access uh, this place in, in three weeks. And uh, medical supplies were in, were in short supply. So we brought some uh, medicine today. And we're hoping that food will come here in the very near future. But just looking around here, there is really no time to waste. There is really no reason for these urgent, important and life-saving humanitarian activities not to take place. There is no security issue here really. The conditions are, frankly, conditions that I don't think any human being should be living in. And I really think that we need to do our best to make sure that humanitarian assistance gets here as soon as possible, to make sure that the conditions here improve. And the government, at the end of the day, has a real responsibility to allow us to make sure that we can bring assistance to these people.